So this is Obi. He's a five-year-old boxer, male, and uh, came into clinic because he just collapsed um, at home. And um, things that can cause collapse is he actually has a lot of arthritis in his, his spine. Um, and we thought maybe you know, it could have caused him to just fall over when he's sore. That's one thing that can cause collapse. Uh, another thing that can cause collapse is when they're sleeping, when they're going to sleep, or they're waking up, sometimes they can have a seizure. All dogs can have epilepsy or seizures. And your dog might just be walking, kind of acting real uncoordinated. That's a petite ball seizure, a mild one. Or it could just fall over and go into the hole grand mall thing, and that's a seizure. But when I examined Obi, um, I could listen to his heart, and most heartbeats are just like, they just go with the rhythm, like bum, 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 and then a little break, bum, 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 and a little break as they breathe. But Obi's was going, Obi keeps looking. And then bam, 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 and then a break, and then bump, 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 and and then bump, bump, bump. So you'll see it on the EKG. Uh, he has runs of different rhythms. Now it's good when you're, when you're in a band, but it's not good when you want your heart to pump the blood. Because when the heart is when the heart is going through that really fast rhythm, it can't fill with blood. And if it can't fill with blood and pump it to the brain, the brain is starved for oxygen, and then what happens? The patient faints. So that's what the problem with heart problems is. This is a, boxers are prone to these type of heart conditions. And uh, we treat him with a beta blocker. So we're going to, we gave him uh, Obi's first beta blocker, Soltolol, this morning. And I'm, I'll show you a tracing of what his heartbeat looks like now. And we'll follow it through the day to see how he gets, huh? But boxers are prone to this heart condition. It's a little bit of thickening in the right heart. Um, the electrical pattern gets screwed up. And the, unfortunately, the beta blockers are really good drugs to help Obi along. What do you think? You think you want a beta blocker? He's a good dog. This is a good dog. In fact, I got in his cage with him last night and talked to him a little bit. Are you a good dog? Yes, you are. He says, I don't know. I want to go home. What is an EKG? EKG is an electric tracing of the heart. And why do we do it? Well, we want to make sure the heart's working like it should. When a heart doesn't work like it should, then, then there's a problem. As you can see in Robin's Bulldog, that we've attached the, the leads, the electric leads, to the legs. And we attach them in certain areas how do we attach the, like, the leads? Well, we attach them to the left foreleg, the left hind leg, and the right foreleg. So what you can see in this uh, EKG tracing, one out of a book, is that there's a P wave, which is a little blip there, and then a big blip that looks like an earthquake, and then a T. P, Q, R, S, T. P, Q, R, S, T. P, Q, R, S, T. And we, you can notice they, they happen pretty regularly. Look at that. That's what we look like, look like, look for, is we look for the tracing that shows for every Q, R, S, which are the big spikes from the heart, there's actually a P wave and a T wave. So you can see that. So here's, the, here's a pretty good tracing. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get all the interference out. Um, in a dog, but you can see the P waves a little inverted, and then the QRS is there. So that's what, but you can see that it's all real regular, and that's what we really look for, the regular, the regular uh, incidence of the different waves, so it all looks symmetrical, it's a little bit like artwork. So let's check out and see what our other patients looks like. So if you look at the EKG, EKG you can see the big spikes I talked about and the little bumps before and after. 
those are the PQRST, but then you see there's some big gap there and then this wild activity. And that's because the impulse is not right. That's because the heart's not working effectively and the pacemaker, the normal pacemaker of the heart, isn't functioning like that. The impulses are coming from the ventricle below the atrium and, and the ventricles and given that wild tracing, which could be a ventricular rhythm or superventricular rhythm. So that's diagnostic because it's a boxer for this ARVC and where the uh, ventricle is thickened and the, um, the ventricle is thickened and the rhythm is off. So we gave some Soltolol the next day, a beta blocker drug, and the rhythm went back to normal, went to a normal tracing like you saw before with the PQRST. Very, very rhythmic, very normal, spaced well, no wild tracings. And that just was the next day. We didn't see any more of that wild rhythm. Then to rule out a tumor, because boxers are so commonly have tumors and they can have tumors in the heart, we did an ultrasound of the heart, uh, ultrasound, a cardiologist came and did an ultrasound of the heart, and they didn't find any masses, any tumors or anything that would cause that rhythm other than that genetic problem that boxers have. Remember, we bred all these purebreds to have all these problems. It's not just a routine, a, a weird thing that happens because they're purebreds and they have defects in one or another organs. So anyway, OB will be on lifelong so, uh, beta blocker or sotolol for the rhythm problem and hopefully um, that will take care of it. The cardiologist also put on uh, a halter on a harness and, that, and, and recorded the rhythm from his home through a computer for 24 hours and didn't see any real bad rhythm changes. So that's what happened and I thought you might like to see that weird rhythm and how we do an EKG and uh, how we evaluate animals for that. Well if you get a chance check out my book uh, and my website dogdishdiet.com if you want to learn how to feed your dog a little better, use a better commercial food, um, or make your own food. There's also a book called Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet, which shows you how to slow cook chicken and vegetables or beef and vegetables or beef and rice or beef and potatoes to make a healthy homemade stew. Have a great day.